Okay, Carly bought a car for $8,000. Each year the car depreciates by $15,550. That means it goes down by $550. That's going to be your growing number, but your growing number is going to be a negative $550. This will be our starting number. Write in any quality that Carly could use to determine the number of years X it takes for her car to decrease to a value less than 4,500. This will be our total wanted. So we're going to do GX plus S in our total, aren't we? So our GX plus S will be negative 550X plus 8,000. And we want this to be less than, or less than 4,500, no equal bar. So we want the cost of the car to be less than 4,500. So we're going to move over the 8,000, and I'm going to get negative 550x less than, and this is going to be 35, negative 3,500. Now then, I'm going to divide by negative 550, and I don't have a calculator with me, so I'm going to do this by hand. So two negatives makes a positive, and I need 55 into 350. That's going to go six times is 330 with 20 left over. Okay, so y'all listen. In six years, it will be over $4,500. In seven years, it's gonna be under. So it's gonna take X right here is gonna be less than six and 20 over 55. Yeah, that's, and that simplifies to what, four elevenths? If you divide by five. So in six years, it's still gonna be it's still gonna be over the 4,500. So it's gonna take seven years for it to appreciate to be under the 4,500. So on this one, I'm rounding up, aren't I? Sometimes you'll round up, sometimes you'll round down. You gotta read the problem. So in seven years, it's gonna be less than 4,500.